Hello, the game has started and my opponent's opened with Veined. I'll just say hello to my opponent. Now, what do I have? Um, any lines through an L? I have Insaney, which is a playable 7. But does it play? Yes, it does. Either side of the D. What about the V? Senidine. Senidine might be good as well. Senidine. Yes. So insaney, but Sani Dine. Well, I think insaney scored more, but Sani Dine felt safer. Now I have a little bit of a um, clunky rack here. I can get rid of both the W and the M with a play of Wem. Not a bad rack leaf. T T I E. Do I have a four timer through the E or the A? I have the time component of a word. Time, wet time, no. Abluence opponent bingos as well. Okay. Can't play Wem where I was pl planning on playing it. What about chew it? Twenty six. I draw a couple of R's and E's. Mitre. Mitre and remitre. Mitre. Um, what about this S here? Merriest. What about the E? Retimer, no. Miterers would score. Oh, it's been blocked. That's a shame. Now the E is my only hope, I'd say. Or the S. a shame. Okay, is this E? Um. Meritor, no. Wow, okay, well, it's not seeing it, so I'll go with Mitre for a four-timer. Thirty-six. 
hopefully my opponent does not have a Z. That would be most unpleasant. Now I have Deoxy. Okay, luckily he didn't have the Z. Deoxy scores quite well. Um, could just play docks here. 36 doesn't give back too much to opponent. It feels safer, that's for sure. Red ox is good as well. What about yex? <sighs> or dex, dexy, forty. Okay, I draw. What have I got? I have the over prefix. Board starting to close up a bit. Nothing goes between B and V. Okay, opponent bingos and takes the lead. Z hotspot created. Don't not, not much I can do about it apart from E H. It feels a bit weak. Twenty. Yeah, I'm going with this. Um, Relievo. Relievo doesn't currently play. Or does it? No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Fail does not take an O, and yeah, Relievo's not going to play, so I'm a bingo behind, and I don't have, a, yeah, maybe just EO for 23. Not ideal, that one. V, G, and P don't have much synergy together. So... Nevi is good, but that's where the story ends. Unless I had an O. Atom. Scoring opportunities drying up a little bit on the board. Nothing for going next to the Y. Um, yeah, not looking great here, it must be said. Zip and hop, pretty weak. Res and PE, no. Yuga's nothing happening there. What about vape? Seventeen gets rid of two of the clunkier consonants. What about extensions on to veined? I don't 
and see any pain in taking some time with this move. And hmm, doesn't create a bingo lane. I kind of do need to bingo. So what about Burl? Nah. Curves sixteen opponent scores well there. Yelp and pig. Oh, Yelp isn't good. Um, but your and rip. 33 got vog vlog next to yuga veil which takes front a Log hmm. twenty four. Actually, what about Gov and Nevi? Thirty six. See what opponent does here. No S's to come, but there is a blank, so fail can take an S there. So gov or vlog, I think those are my two options. Otherwise, open up something by playing through A and E. Lane. Lane takes uh, A, I think. Hmm. Okay, opponent might have that blank. Maybe his that play hasn't helped me much, so I'll go with Gov. Now just wondering if I have a play from the Z down. The P well P E twenty one. Not great. Said I for twenty seven. That's not a bad score, and I don't think it gives much back to opponent either. Dual sixteen, not good enough. Um, thinking of an ED play like. No, not seeing anything there. I 
I think I'll go with said I. Okay, I'll draw the second blank. Jalop, jalops is good. Jaloping, no. Don't have the right tiles for that. Um, now, opponent plays lack. J U something L. No. J R. Well, I don't have a two directional there, but I do have jag. Is this worth doing? Eleven tiles in the bag. I have the blank. I'll go with this. Seven vowels, eleven consonants, so I'm unlikely to draw many vowels. Well, slightly higher chance of drawing consonants, that's all. Taj is an option, so I could play something and Taj next turn. But what is the best play here? 27 is going to be hard to beat without burning the blank. Yeah, I'll go with this. Phono is good. And it's played Zin and EDH is good. Could play Help for 33. That doesn't seem like a good move. Actually, hop. 34, keeping the blank. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll go with this. 34. Um, what to do with the W and the M. Quite bingo y tiles remaining. Opponents played Zinco, Zinco and Row. That looks alright. 30. And Ruminal. No. Unmoral. But I need to end on an S if I am to bingo. Murlons. No. Murlons. Opponent has seven tiles. He'll probably score quite well with the F. Um, do I have a good play through the U and the L? Mu Merle. Yeah, that works. Merle. 22. Actually, I don't know if the mural is good. Furl is, yeah. Name. Oh, wait. Oh, 
I could do something like morale. More morale. That's 27. If opponent plays AT under there, he's not going to get enough to win. Uh, morale 27. Is there anything better? Yeah, I think I'll go with this. And uh, 42 point lead, so I should have the game here. And NUS looks okay. Sun and hops. Obviously, this would be the highest score for me, but opponent's gone there. I think is the play here. 11. Probably is a higher scoring play somewhere. Prez and Trez. Um. That's 11. Yeah, I think that's going to be the top one. Um, and that's the end of the game. 438 to 405. Thank my opponent. Let's see what we missed. Back to the beginning. And opponent opened with Veined. That looks fine. Then Sunny Dine. Hesse 9 did score more. Ah, to the right, of course, of Veined. Although it does create a nice hot spot next to NA. Um, Hesse 9, Insaney, and Sanidine. Anyway, all much of a muchness. I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, let me just have a look at ASCII 9. Probably a little bit better because it doesn't give as many floaters for opponent to use. Sunny Dine. Um, opponent did have a few bingos here. Tableaus and sublate. Sublates as well. And he went with Abluence. Now, Tuit for 22 was best from this rack. That seems fine. And opponent had Yugas for 18, but Gayals for 20. Getting rid of, yeah, one extra tile. And now I had Mitre for 36 as a four-timer. I had Mitre's from D1, but opponent blocked it. That was a shame. And then Filariel. That's quite nice. Filarie. Because I think Filarie is good as well with the L as a E. That's a five-vowel eight. Anyway, um, Filariel... But tricky to spot, so opponent goes with fail. Deoxy I did consider, and it did score quite nicely, but then I... What did I do in the end there? Dexy for 40, a, a, few, a, few, a few less points, but it didn't leave... 
a Y hanging out in the trip lane to get easy points back from. So I went with the safer uh, Dexy. And then opponent had a bingo anyway, so Uralis. Would he? Oh, he could have played it with fail as well, so I didn't give him a spot to play the bingo. He had a few different spots anyway. Now, Evhoe. 36 point play, that's quite nice. N2, Evhoe. A little bit volatile, giving easy score to opponent. So not crazy about it, even though it was a good score. A was much less, but better rack leave and less dangerous. Now opponent had greys for 27, res for 30. He went with the highest scoring one. EO for 23 was best from this position leaving a great EILRV rack. It's quite flexible. Opponent had Souk for 40. Now the score um, on the bingo behind here. And RIP, rest in peace, is what I was kind of thinking at this stage. Um, not to sound like a defeatist, but... Um, yeah, I was kind of worried being a bingo. But then I clawed back a bit of score with Rip, 33. And then opponent had a few plays. He went with Beggs. Now, Gov gave me a, a decent score as well. Um, that Nevi Atom spot. And the 33 from Rip and then the 36 from Gov help to bridge the gap, the bingo gap. No titty eye through an eye, no eye available in the wrong spot. No playable bingo and no great scores. Actually, Azote wasn't bad for 22, but... Yeah, actually, it wasn't that dangerous either. A Z O T E, so O E only takes an S, no S's to come, and just a blank. So, not a bad option. Opponent goes with two and leaves a great rack. Then I've got Cape for 15 with a fantastic leave. Or said I for nearly double the score with an undesirable rack leave. It wasn't a particularly bingo friendly board, so I thought just keep plugging away at the score and um, keep the board tight as you do it. Pagel also good at E7. Ah, nice. Through the A and the G, but that does give, yeah, it does give a, a nice floater for opponent to use in the E. So I don't like that one. Said I was nice and tight. And then Zinke for 35. That Z was offering a few decent scores, albeit volatile placement. Opponent went with Lek for 21, and now I had some good artillery and flexibility to boot. And Benj for 26. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. J, not particularly dangerous as a floater, not useful. And it did... Yeah, Benj... It's not bad. Jag, I felt, was pretty safe. Opponent couldn't do much with the J. Um, yeah, he could have scored a bit coming down on to the J, but not many five-letter plays ending in J. There are a few, but not a plethora. So I went with Jag. Then Zin for 18 with a strong rack leave. But I think at this stage you can't really be 
holding out for a bingo because the board just doesn't particularly support bingo prospects, I don't think, no, unless you draw that golden blank. Um, and opponent played Zinn, perhaps hoping to draw the blank eventually, but uh, he scored 18 for Zinn, and now look at the scores, very close. Um, Holp at 12D, ah, oh, nice. And it would have been totally safe as well. And it would have made sense to get rid of the extra consonant as there were more consonants than vowels. So Holp definitely the play there. Even Holon would have been nice uh, for 36. But I do like Holp because then I've got the, the selfish S hook in the blank coming down because I think Holp takes an S. Maybe not. Uh, now opponent's got a bingo, I think, here. Yeah? Nectar plus an A. Kateran. 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 Kateran, yeah. So no playable one anyway, but... Um, Yeah, Oka for 20 was the top score. And now just 10 points adrift. Be worm for a massive 38 at C10. Uh, leaving the M in the trip lane. I don't think I'm a fan of that. Because if I give opponent back a 35 point play... Well, yeah, I don't know. It's huge, the score. And maybe it was enough to win, but why take the chance? So I kept it tight and played row um, with... Uh, for 30, it was actually quite a good score. I was surprised to get that much. And now opponent's just dead in the water because even if you do have a bingo, unless you've got the S, it's just not going down on this board. Maybe through the J, but that's highly unlikely. So opponent goes with Furl, and uh, then I have Morale for 27, which was best. Um, at for 28, I saw that the cu the comeback score from opponent would be fairly substantial, but it wouldn't be enough to win. So opponent, um, and then I had countless outs here, and Nuss was the best for 11. So that was the end of the game. Um, yeah, one or two suboptimals, but generally... Uh, a decent caliber thought. Hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.